Hi, I'm Aaron Heinem. I'm with Phoenix, and I'm here today with the new DrySense, which is part of the DryLink ecosystem of connected products. This particular item is used to gather moisture content readings. Um, it will store up to 10 days worth of readings, and it uh, takes a reading every hour of the day while it's uh, in use on the job. So let's uh, open up the box and see what we get. So if you notice inside, you'll see it comes like this. We have two AA batteries. We have the uh, adapter for harder materials, which I'll show later in the video. And we have the unit itself. It has pins on the back. Be careful, these are very sharp. They're meant to go into wet drywall. And if you need to go into other materials, you unscrew these pins and we're gonna attach this and we'll show you how that's done. There's an on off switch at the top and a light to let you know which unit you are connected to at any time. Okay, so to set up the uh, dry sense, what we'll do is open up the battery holder, take out the uh, included AA batteries, add them in, put on our battery holder, and we're set. We can turn on the switch and oops, there we go. Now these pins can be used. These pins can be used to um, hold on the harder materials, or at least that's what they're for. I'll take this out of the box and then we would put this on here like this. Screw these back on. And there we go. And you can put the screws in here, stainless screws. We also sell the pins in either a four pack or 10 pack for replacement pins for the dry sense. Okay, so let's go see what this looks like in the app. Okay, so we have the dry sense turned on. We're in the nearby equipment tab. We have our blue banner here. It says new equipment discovered. The DS means dry sense, so this is uh, the numbers that go along with this dry sense. So it starts with a 94, I'll remember that. I'm gonna click add. I've now added it to my inventory. Now I'm gonna go look for DS94, that's this unit here. And I can uh, rename this to something a little more, um, that's uh, more easily identifiable. So I will just call this, uh, unit let's see here i'll call it uh, dry sense and since i already have some of these in my inventory um i will name this one dry sense five so and i'll hit save and then now i have this in my inventory as dry sense five and next we'll show you how to use the dry sense and set up a moisture point now the first thing you want to do is make sure your dry sense is either pushed into wet drywall using the pins or use stainless steel screws to attach it to harder materials using the hard material accessory. Then we're going to go into the app and we're going to go into the moisture reading section while you're taking a daily reading and click into a drying chamber. We have test one as our drying chamber and when we go in there we can see that we can add a moisture point. This is where we're gonna add all of the moisture points we need to. We're gonna select the dry sense that we wanna use to automate the reading that we've just created. We'll select okay, and then we'll tell it what room it is in, the location of the dry sense, the material, and then we can optionally set our drying target. When we're done with that, we click save, and we get our first reading, and it's as easy as that to set up a moisture point. 